back in the old days, I traveled all over the country to go to Dr. Travell's seminars. And each time you went to the seminar, it was exactly the same seminar with exactly the same slides. And so I almost memorized all of her slides. But each time that you went, you got another little gem. You had that aha moment, you know, where you said, oh, that was Susie that I didn't fix 10 years ago, like that. So as a myofascial therapist, one of the things we would do, there would be a whole group of us, and she was usually in a wheelchair because she had had a hip replacement, but she needed a knee replacement. So she had her hip replacement. She must have been, I'm going to say, around 75, okay? And then about a couple years later, she needed a knee replacement. And, but she didn't get it. And I asked her, I said, Dr. Travell, you know, by then she was like 90, still going strong. I said, how come you didn't get the knee replacement? She said, Vicki, I didn't think I was going to live this long. <laughs> so she was usually in a wheelchair. She could walk, but you know, it was difficult for her. She had some pain. So she'd be in her wheelchair, and all of us practitioners, a lot of them were, my, were massage therapists, we would sit on the floor around her like little honeybees, you know, and she would teach us, she would tell us stories and this kind of thing. And one day, she, there was a waitress, a wait person, walking by and she said, excuse me, may, may I use your arm? You know, and the gal's like, okay. And what she was showing us was when the histamine level comes up out of your skin. So she ran her fingernail down the, the waitress's forearm, the extensors. Kind of hard. Got, got in there. And this big red line came up. And she says, that's histamine. Her whole body's inflamed. So it was those kind of lessons that we got. Another one was, I lived in Palm Springs for a while and my, my husband put on Palm Springs seminars. And so Dr. Travell came to speak, and uh, Nancy Shaw was her, um, was her colleague, uh, one of my mentors, who came with her because she needed help. And at that point, I think she was about 92. And she, they didn't want to stay in the hotel, so they actually stayed at my home. And we had a pool and a jacuzzi. And so in the morning, we had breakfast out on the patio. And Nancy said to me, have you got a pencil and paper? And I'm like, what? We're eating breakfast. She says, OK. So we get breakfast. I serve breakfast. Everybody's starting to eat. And I have a dog, a beautiful um, chow and long-haired German shepherd, black with tan markings. She was sweet. Oh, so should have been oh, so female. But anyway. And so we sit down. We start to eat. And Dr. Travell goes, oh, you have a dog. I'm like, yes. She said, do you know how to keep the dog free of fleas so they don't get any fleas? And I looked at Nancy and I said, hold that. Let me get a pencil and paper. <laughs> and so she went on to say, if you put brewer's yeast in the dog food, the fleas don't like the smell that comes out of the dog's skin. Those are the kind of little gems that when you hung around her, you got. It was wonderful.